name's Tynan Mwering. I work at the National Museum of Australia as a visitor services host. So I'm the person you'll see when you come in and I'll hand out your maps and give you a tour and just talk to the general public. So recently I got a placement at the British Museum. The museum was able to get some money through a grant to send an Indigenous staff member over to the British Museum for professional development and I was lucky enough to be the person chosen. So while I was at the British Museum, my role was basically to learn how they did things, how things were different between the different museums and offer my experiences of working here in the National Museum of Australia and how we do things to show that. While I was at the British Museum, they did have Enduring Civilization, their exhibition on Indigenous Australian objects on display, which seemed to be very popular. They were getting numbers higher than they expected. There was lots of people very interested in it because it was often their first chance to really see anything about Indigenous Australian culture. And there were lots of expats there, which was very interesting. Lots of people who had children that were born and raised in the UK, showing them something about Australian culture. As an Indigenous man, I had some mixed feelings about seeing these objects. It was a very sad experience seeing these things and knowing that they had been put away in storage for a long time and hadn't really been seen in possibly hundreds of years by anyone of Indigenous background. But it was a real privilege to be able to see these objects, some of the earliest collected objects that were put into collections, and also to see some objects that I was familiar with through history, things like the tent embassy protest signs that still has a footprint on it from being there. So visitors to the NMA can expect when we do our Encounters exhibition in conjunction with the BM to see a really broad range of Indigenous cultural material from all the way back from the very first encounters between European people and Aboriginal people all the way up into contemporary paintings and from dozens of communities all around Australia. There's a real breadth of objects that will be on display.